Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, we're gonna make some grilled cheese. I'm going to Strong Hearts Cafe here in Syracuse, New York. It is about quarter after midnight and I have a 30 pound block of cheese that BioLife sent to me. So I thought the best way to use that was to do a fundraiser at Strong Hearts. We're gonna make grilled cheese and on Saturday, we're gonna sell grilled cheeses and try to raise funds in order to help fund the Kickstarter. And I have to go to Stronghearts right now for prep. We are going to shred the cheese. So let me show you what we're working with right here. Okay, so it's not the feta. The feta is really good, but here we go. This is what we have, a huge 30 pound block. All right. After hours, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it out. We're gonna make a grilled cheese and see how it tastes. I'm here with Joel, the owner, co-owner, Stronghearts. Probably seen him in a lot of other videos. So what are we gonna use? Like wheat bread? Yeah, we're gonna do a uh, very basic wheat bread. Throw some earth balance on there. Uh, throw some shredded cheese on there. Close it up. Put it on the grill. Awesome. Let's see what happens. Let's do this. Joel's cutting the cheese. Cutting the cheese, man. Who cuts the cheese? Have you shredded cheese like this before? Mm-mm. What if we just cut it in slices? Like for like, probably no. I feel like it's gonna melt way better if it's shredded. Okay. It's hard enough, so that that's good. The harder it is, the better. Let's put it on the fridge. Ready? All right. Wow. That's enough for what, two sandwiches? Probably more than that. Yeah. Well, you got two and a half, three sandwiches there. If I cut them in smaller pieces, the shreds will be half as long. Perfect. I like that better. That's a lot of cheese. So we get our bread delivered fresh every day from Harrison Bakery. It's a family-owned bakery. It's been in business 70 years here in Syracuse. I didn't know that. I guess I learned some. And it's Virgin. all vegan? Obviously. Their entire bakery is not vegan, but um, some of their bread is, and then they make special vegan bread for us. And we have Earth Balance? Straight up Earth Balance. But it's bread up. Show you a little secret for making grilled cheese. Take it like this, fold it like that. We got our zombie cheese. It's our zombie pepper jack from Via Life. You don't need much. I'd say maybe three to four ounces tops. And then you take it, and then you make sure both sides have butter on them, which they already do, because we did that in our first step. Bring it over to the grill. Putting the lid on a frying pan for the most part, just cloche it. It'll create a hotter environment or the cloche and melt the cheese faster. 125. Look at this cruelty free chicken. Two, three. That's perfect. I think we're ready. Here we go. See what we got. Oh, Ooh, perfect. Golden. Literally. Smells like a grilled cheese, looks like a grilled cheese, cuts like a grilled cheese. Look at that crisp. I mean, listen to the crisp. Oh, wow. September 8th, anytime from 9 a.m. to midnight. Ask for the zombie grilled cheese. All proceeds go to the A44 vegan zombie movie. There's only one thing left to do. We have to try it out. We need stretchability and tasteability. I love it. How is it on the 
spiciness. It's got a little kick to it, which I don't mind because I love spice, but it's not overwhelming. It's just enough in my, in my opinion. My turn. David from Lost Boys. Okay, we got a little bit of meltability and stretchability. Let's have the taste ability. That's a grilled cheese. I love it. It's good enough for you guys to come in and get one of these all day Saturday, September 8th, 10 a.m. to midnight. Come in and ask for the zombie grilled cheese. All proceeds will go towards A44 movie and you can get whatever you want on it. You can add things to it or whatever. So come in and do that. Make it happen. Syracuse, New York, Strong Hearts Cafe. My bad, it, it opens at 9 a.m., not 10 a.m. So come in even earlier. Make a line out front. All right, Joel, thanks. Uh, we'll follow up on this on Saturday. And um, see you guys later.